Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the star cactus. The star cactus is a beautiful cactus native to Texas and its bordering parts in Mexico. Natively, it grows in the shade of larger bushes, making identifying a wild specimen somewhat difficult. It is a barrel-shaped cactus of diminutive size, perfect for desktops. Instead of spikes protruding from the nodes along the ribs, it has tufts of soft and white fur-like hairs. It is also sometimes called the sea urchin cactus, owing to the resemblance of its rounded form to sea urchins. The star cactus is prized for its unique shape, dotted with attractive white spots and showy flowers. While it can be grown outdoors in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness amounts 9 through 11, this cactus also makes an attractive houseplant, thriving in sunny windows. With proper care, your cactus will bloom indoors from late spring to early summer. Although star cactus is a desert plant, it grows under bushes or shady rocks in its natural habitat. If you are growing your cactus indoors, a bright shade would be ideal. It's vital to ensure that your plant is getting enough light, as this will encourage blooming. However, too much light causes the greens of the cactus to appear washed out, although it will grow just fine in full sun, giving it some shade results in more vibrant colors. Put potted indoor plants on bright south or west-facing windowsill to provide them with the minimum four hours of direct sunshine they require. This plant is a cactus, and as such, it is quite drought-tolerant and can survive long periods without water. From spring to autumn, March to October, water the plant sparingly. Ensure that the soil drains out entirely before a session. You don't want any residual water to stay in the pot. In winter, suspend watering altogether. It can survive just fine without any. The star cactus is used in the hot and dry desert climate. In summer, the ideal temperatures range is from 70 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In winter, it can drop down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but it will only survive the cold if the plant is kept dry. Short-term exposure to temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit won't harm this plant. Increase the watering schedule during extended periods of 90 degrees Fahrenheit or more to prevent the plant from succumbing to stress. The humidity level should be low, around 30 to 40 percent. The cactus will be susceptible to root rot if the air is too humid. Replicate desert conditions if possible. It is not advisable to grow star cactus in humid environments because they can develop diseases like root rot and other ailments. These cacti are slow growers. You can use potassium-rich fertilizer in spring and summer to speed up the process. In winter, suspend fertilizing entirely. Star cactus propagate only by seed, which can be collected from the dried flowers. Be gentle when handling these seeds because they are fairly delicate. You can harvest seeds from the fruit of the cactus, which will separate itself from the cactus when ripe. To harvest, cut the fruit in half and remove the seeds. You can also purchase seeds online or from a nursery. To have a good chance of rooting, the seeds need to be planted right away after harvesting because they have a relatively short shelf life. To sow, place the seeds on top of the soil and lightly cover them with sand. Keep the soil moist and in a moderately cool place until germination occurs. Germination usually takes around two to four weeks. When the seedlings are big enough, you can transplant them into their pot. Be very careful not to damage the roots when transplanting. Star cactus don't need to be repotted very often. Once every two years should suffice. When you repot, make sure to use a pot that is slightly larger than the previous one. Avoid a pot that is too big as it is only an invitation for diseases and pests. When potting, use soil that drains well. A cactus mix would be perfect, but you can also make your own by mixing potting soil, perlite, and pumice. Avoid using fertilizer immediately after potting. Wait for the plant to become established in its new home. The star cactus is not generally considered toxic to humans and animals. Eating it, however, may be inadvisable, regardless. Mealybugs and spider mites can be a problem. Sometimes scale insects as well, but they're rarer. If you notice any pests, take immediate action to get rid of them. Watering down the affected area can sometimes get the job done but you might need something more heavy-handed if the infestation is severe.